Good afternoon, my name is Winstina Hughes. I started my WordPress blog in, um, on Maplewood, New Jersey in 2008, a year after I graduated from Rutgers with a degree in planning and public policy. I returned home to Maplewood thinking that it would be wonderful to share what I'd learned in school. I thought it was really fascinating, and I thought that people would be interested in learning a bit more um, about local development um, and real estate. Um, and so I decided that I would essentially put my term papers um, on my blog. I thought people would want to read it. Um, and so before I continue further, um, and this is a tough act to follow um, um, from the last speaker, uh, but I spend a fair amount of my time explaining what planning is, what city and regional planning is. Um, and so my profession seems a little complicated, but really, and this is what the American Planning Association, our, um, professional organization says, it's that it's a, it's a dynamic profession that works to improve the welfare of people and their communities. Good planning helps to create communities that offer better choices to where and how people live. So when I came, I wanted to spark a conversation about planning in my community. I was sure someone wanted to know about planning locally, about local development, about our Jitney system, about New Jersey Transit's Midtown Direct um, train that took people to, that took commuters to work um, every day. I was sure they wanted to know about local buses and single family homes, foreclosure rates, love this stuff, um, real estate and property taxes. I was itching to add all this stuff online um, and I first started by getting my family uh, on on my blog, I thought, you know, let, let them read it. Um, and they started, you know, they were pretty loving about it. They wanted to, you know, give me great feedback. And I thought that they were the only visitors. And then um, I realized that uh, my blog resonated with other people. It was a magical moment um, when our mayor left a comment and um, he left a comment inviting me to uh, reach out to him with his phone number to discuss planning in our town. Um, I was offered an opportunity to write for the New York Times blog, the local about uh, residents in New Jersey that work in my field. A local commuter um, asked me how to get to her nearest Jitney stop, which that I think would be an easier route for her to take. Um, and after I added the Jitney um, schedule uh, to my blog, our township website was updated with that Jitney information. And then a woman um, who was thinking about moving to Maplewood left a comment that my blog helped her uh, learn more about Maplewood. One of my readers even interviewed me on property tax redistribution. <laughs> um, and it was a pretty difficult way to, you know, um, to kind of explain what was going on, um, especially since I didn't have that type of knowledge. Um, but I asked an old teacher who's a zoning lawyer at my high school who actually inspired me to go into planning. And so, um, you know, I want to move on to the reason why my blog was so successful. It's successful because I used WordPress.com. It was perfect for several, for several reasons. As a recently graduate, graduated student with very little money, I loved it. It was free, perfect. Um, it has a back-end interface that's easy to navigate. I never had to worry about brute force attacks, about anyone hacking to my site because um, Automatic handles that. The, da the dashboard became intuitive, um, and after publishing a few posts, it was pretty easy to walk through the process. And I didn't have to worry about spam, I didn't have to worry um, about you know, anything else. Uh, it was already handled. And there was something really cool, too, that was part of my blog, um, and it's this thing called analytics. I didn't know how important analytics was until I started um, on, uh, as I wrote my content, I continued on. I'm a little nervous. Okay, so I want to give you an example of what's planned versus what's needed, just for you to see exactly what I'm talking about and the topics that I brought up in my blog. This is, this is an example of a parking lot that was designed at my school. It looks perfect. The designer, the engineer thought it was wonderful, but students created the path that they actually needed. You know, what we don't see is there's actually a bus stop behind those students, and they found the quickest route that they possibly could to get to the bus so that they could get to class on time. Now, does this image spark a thought in you? Do you have an idea um, of uh, like a life hack that you created um, that solves uh, a particular experience that you have in your town? 
Um, so for example, do you cross a particular street rather than another because you have drivers that just, you know, like barrel down the road and they don't even think to stop? Are you not comfortable going for a walk with your dog um, simply because you're not sure, you know, what route to take? And so I say to you that a blog would be a great way for you to share your experience and to give recommendations to people in your town. And I'm sure that you'll start a conversation. So get engaged in the planning process. Um, that's something that we want everyone to do. And um, just as a, as a future planner, uh, citizen participation and community engagement makes the planning process so much easier because it takes individual voices to move um, programs and, um, and initiatives forward that make quality of life better. So before I start, I want to share um, a nugget of wisdom with you. Uh, when you write about your community and you write about real estate, you actually have um, the ability to make a huge impact. If you say something that's negative, it could cost your town millions and millions of dollars. You know, maybe a business chooses not to relocate to your town because you didn't say ne something nice about them. And since we love where we come from, you know, it, it's helpful to to just keep that in mind so we don't cause you know, the very place that we want to help a negative experience. So if you're thinking about um, starting a blog on community engagement in your town, you have a topic that you want people to know more about, um, what I would say to you is that there are a few things that you can do to start the process. You can create a plan. I want you to think of the issue that you care the most about. And when you think about this issue, I want you to consider that there's somebody in your town who has the power to make these changes. So I want you to figure out who that person is and you want to go to the meetings in your town where they are because this provides you the opportunity to engage the people who have the influence that can make the change that you want. So if you want that stop sign that's in a really unsafe place, and you just don't feel comfortable walking to the park, you want to go to your zoning board meeting or your planning board meeting, they have the power to make those changes. Now, after you've gone to the meetings, I want you to consider publishing interviews about other people who have these experiences in your town. So maybe your neighbor, too, has this concern. Or maybe, you know, you stop that driver one day and you say, look, <laughs> you know, you almost hit me and I'd like to share my experience and yours as well. You never know. They might actually let you, you know, interview them about their experience. Maybe they're rushing to work. Uh, maybe, you know, th this happened or that happened and you start a conversation and a dialogue. And you can publish these interviews. People love sharing their stories and they love coming back to your site and seeing that you've shared their stories. They love to be engaged as well. And then I also say to you to advertise your blog. Um, one of the things that I'm going to show you uh, that's great about WordPress is um, the fact that it has the ability to be able to um, help you um, you know, reach the people that you want to. Um, so I'm going to say familiarize yourself with Dashboard. It really has everything that you need. Um, as you can see, there's, there's site stats, um, and that allows you to go into the analytics. What are your top posts? What are the um, words, the, the words that people use to get to your site? Um, choose your keywords wisely. I put a case study um, on suburban planning in Maplewood, um, and then I got a comment from our mayor saying that he had received Google alerts and the Google alerts let him know that my blog existed. So when you take the time to add words like a case study on Maplewood in your dashboard, when you go into your settings, it can really yield some really exciting results for you because it'll bring people to your blog that you want to know that, um, that, that you want to know um, are aware of what it is you're writing about. I also recommend being transparent. When I started my blog, I told them that I was a student. I told them that I just wanted to share what I'd learned and that I wanted my, com my community to start having a conversation on planning issues. And so when people came, they knew. Um, I also welcomed my visitors. We have conversations about about sections, and so you know why you're coming to a site, but people love for you to welcome them, and I did that. I also responded to comments. Here's the comment um, where someone was asking me how to get to a jitney stop, and so I said to her, you know, if I were to do it, this would be how I'd go about it. Another thing that you should do is study your analytics. I concluded my blog about a year after I started it. Um, and I really did that because I wanted to stay on message and I felt that I covered everything that I needed to. Um, and even today, um, in November of this year, I still have people visiting. Um, I have 91 visitors in November and they've looked at the content about 137 times. Those are the hits. 
I see the top pages that people go to, and I even see the countries. And this is all in WordPress.com. I didn't have to. Um, I didn't have to add Google Analytics. There was nothing special I had to deal with. It was all right there. And I don't know how to code. I'm not a developer. I haven't done a plugin. So all that technical knowledge wasn't something that I needed. Also, I say create a poll or two. This is another way of engaging people in your content. When you write those interviews and you share someone else's story and you show that you guys have a mutual interest, they'll come and see your site and they'll come to read comments. And a poll or two is another way to engage people. And as a matter of fact, as you can see here, only five people took votes. Um, but over the course of my blog, I've had about 1,200 visitors. So, you know, when you see five votes, you really don't get a sense of the fact that people have come and they've actually looked at the site. And my final thought is to be ethical. As developers, um, you have so much power. You can look at the IP addresses. Um, you know the email addresses that people leave. Um, and so you know how to reach and find people. But I had a wonderful experience quite recently. Um, I made some friends on Twitter, and they were actually pretty helpful. And so I know that this particular slide really isn't relevant to the WordPress community because the WordPress community is ethical. We do care, um, and we're really not going to do anything that's going to hurt WordPress, nor I think will we do anything to hurt our own communities where we live. Thank you so much.